Let's check out our villa here at the St. Regis Maldives Vamuli. You'll see that there's a set of two bicycles available for the guests in every villa. And let's go inside. We're staying here at the Sunset Overwater Villa here at the St. Regis. Here in the entryway, there's a desk. It's really comfortable for working. And then right here is the mini bar and pantry. The hotel is quite generous about offering bottled water every day. And here's something I love about the design. These pantry doors that open and then slide all the way in to conserve space. There's a fairly spacious sitting area here in the Sunset Over Water. You can see that the hotel set me up with some birthday balloons over here. I like the fact that there's a rocking chair as well. And then it's an open concept space over here. King size bed, super comfortable for sleeping. And there's two beautiful marble tables on either end. And of course, waking up to these spectacular views of the Indian Ocean. Now it has been fairly stormy during our visit, but I think that just adds to the magic of the view. Here in the bathroom of the Sunset Overwater Villa, you've got a nice color theme of marble and light wood. Right here, there's the shower, which is enclosed with marble on all three sides. And then coming over here, there's the chamber for the toilet. Although in this case, it does not automatically open when you arrive. Opening these doors leads to the walk-in closet that has a vanity that connects all the way back through the foyer. And I really like the fact that there's both a vanity and a desk separately for working. Over here's the sinks, marble surface, double sinks, and some fun light fixtures on the wall. And then over here, we've got a really fun shaped bathtub that's big enough for one person, but probably a little bit small for two. And lastly, our favorite part of the suite, the outdoor space. Now here at the St. Regis's outdoor deck, there's also a private plunge pool and there's a decent range of outdoor seating as well, including this little dining table right here. There's a set of two lounge chairs that you can relax on. There's a big lounge chair right here on the deck and a series of four nets down here by the ocean. And finally, these steps go right down into the ocean, providing you with direct access into the water and right out into the reefs for some nice snorkeling. Concluding the room tour, I do have to say that the outdoor deck was very much the highlight of the Sunset Overwater Villa. I do wish that this private pool was closer to the ocean rather than closer to the villa. However, it was still a very pleasant place to spend time, and we really enjoyed taking a dip, relaxing in the hammocks, or chilling on the lounge chairs every single day. Now the overwater villas are obviously the main attraction of coming to a place like this, but the incredible service and luxury treatment starts all the way back at the Maldives capital of Malé at the St. Regis Airport Lounge. You'll be greeted by the St. Regis Airport butler upon stepping off your flight to the Maldives, and then you'll be whisked away to this luxurious lounge in which you can enjoy complimentary drinks and snacks while you wait for your seaplane transfer over to the resort. The seaplane takes between 40 minutes and one hour, depending on how many other passengers are on the plane and whether you're stopping at another resort along the way. It can get fairly bumpy and loud up there, and it tends to get pretty hot, but it's all gonna be worth it as you arrive into paradise. And now that we're back here on Vomoli Island, let's go for a tour of the resort as a whole. Now here at the St. Regis Maldives, you're also given a set of bikes to ride around the island, although it is a little bit more precarious because these jetties have really, really low walls. And so if you were to slip up, you're just gonna plunge straight into the water. It's certainly not a place to do any bicycle tricks or go no handed or anything like that. Eventually, you do get used to cycling along the jetties, and I will say that the fact that there's no walls along the sides makes for a very unique design out here, one that you won't soon forget upon leaving the resort. Following the jetty over to the main island, you arrive at the public pool and beach. Now this is a fairly intimate island, and so even though there's only one public pool, it never really gets too crowded. As we continue our tour, let's ride our bikes over to the spa and check it out. Now you'll notice that here at the St. Regis Maldives Vamuli, it's a lot more natural of an island. There's this forest cover, it's like a jungle environment, and there's lots of shrubbery around here. 
This blue hole hydrotherapy pool is available to anybody who books a spa treatment or if you're staying at the resorts on your honeymoon or anniversary, they'll also let you have a complimentary session. This right here is also known as the blue hole. Reservations are required, but it does look like an amazing experience. In addition to the spa facilities, you've also got tons of recreational options, including a ping pong table, a tennis court, and of course, the fitness center. Although this was a relatively small gym and it could get a little bit crowded with a few people using it. And now for one of the best things about staying at the St. Regis Maldives, the snorkeling experience. Since Vomuli is an all-natural island, it's surrounded by beautiful reefs and amazing fish populations. And we particularly enjoyed snorkeling all the way out to where the reefs drop off into the ocean and just gazing into the abyss of the deep blue. The house reef here is really beautiful. There's tons of fish to look at. And on a clear day when the waters are calm, it really is so much fun. If you're staying here at the St. Regis Maldives, I certainly recommend you set some time aside in order to experience the snorkeling. You can rent your gear from the dive shop and keep it with you in your villa throughout your stay. Let's take a look at the dining experience here at the St. Regis Maldives, starting with breakfast at Alba, the hotel's all-day dining restaurant. The breakfast spread, as you can imagine, was top quality throughout, and there was also a very impressive a la carte menu. However, I do have to say that compared to other St. Regis properties around the world, and even compared to the Waldorf Astoria Maldives that I had stayed at just before, the selection wasn't quite as wide-ranging as I would have expected. Still, there was a few different types of East Asian, Indian, Maldivian, and Western items to pick from every morning, and of course, the noodle bar with a rotating series of soup bases every day. And to top it all off, there was free-flowing champagne at breakfast, and you could help yourself to a mimosa or two to work up a buzz in the mornings. In terms of further dining options at the resort, you've got Crust and Craft, the pizza bar on the beach that's open for lunch, there's the Whale Bar, which is the hotel's designated spot for sunset drinks, and it also serves up some light snacks in the afternoon. There's Cargo, the hotel's outdoor jungle dining experience which serves up Middle Eastern food. And lastly, my favorite restaurant where I enjoyed a birthday dinner on my first night, Oriental, the East Asian dining venue. The sushi rolls and chili garlic crab here are indeed world class, although the prices are also quite steep to match, with the whole meal coming to about 250 US dollars, including drinks for the two of us. Overall, the St. Regis Maldives is an incredible experience that I'm so happy that I got to try, especially having redeemed Marriott Bonvoy points for a complimentary stay here at such a high value. Now, as we took the seaplane back to Mali, we passed over none other than the Waldorf Astoria Maldives, which is the resort that I had stayed in previously just prior to the St. Regis. Check out this video on screen right now to watch our full review of the Waldorf Astoria, and then let me know which one of the two luxury Maldives resorts looks better to you.